Hello my friends. So today in the metal shop garage we are installing the Tuffy hood latch lock. And I told you if you watched the previous video that I really bought this um, to kind of bypass Tuffy's security measures so I could get keys for my locking glove box and center console which I did not receive so I had them all keyed to the new product that I purchased. But it, I should point out that it is a pretty good idea and you Jeep guys out there know that the hood does not lock from inside the car like a traditional hood does. It has you know these spring stays on either side you pop those and push the safety release here and you are in and you know it should be noted that you know is this like I said is this a necessary piece of equipment um, you know possibly but let's look under here so this K&N which in my opinion is ridiculously overpriced for a plastic tube and an air filter and a little shroud is three hundred and twenty dollars okay uh, that's just a Napa battery but I do have an Optima red top going in here that's two hundred and twenty dollars okay um, let's see we got Excel you know high temp silicone um, plug wires which are um, you know probably a, a thirty dollar item I'm gonna put in eight millimeter you know DUI or Moroso um, upgrade plug wires which are you know I'm gonna use a DUI the DUI brand I think and they are that's a ninety dollar part so you know good security measures to protect you know your valuable stuff under the hood and you know Jeep guys are <laughs> they're gonna know that stuff's under here and they're gonna know that they can get in there so anyway so the process in theory should be pretty simple you have these three star bolts here that torques, sorry, that escaped me for a moment. These three Torx bolts that you undo and you drop the hood latch, you don't have to remove it, you kind of drop it down here into the cavity out of the way. Okay, fine. Pretty simply, this installs right up here like this, and what it does, I didn't bring my keys with me, sorry. Um, when you flip this portion down, it's, it's, I mean, it will not, it won't allow you to move this. This little box this metal fabricated box with one flipped down will be in the way when it's flipped up the cam will operate as normal when it's flipped down it won't so you can see the little arrow and that's telling you you know obviously move it this way so anyway but the problem that I'm running into is what they say is sometimes you can fit it in but this needs to get into the side of the grill They're saying sometimes you can fit it in between you know your seven holes and this is not gonna work I mean it's just not I mean you can twist it it's just no go one quick look at that and I was pretty obvious it wasn't gonna work they say sometimes you can come through the bottom uh, even with this wiring harness aside unfortunately this Jeep has air conditioning which is throwing a complete and total monkey wrench into the works um, because of the air conditioning um, the condenser there will not uh, you know the special radiator for the uh, air conditioning uh, takes up all the space so it will not fit from underneath into this into that space there so they say that you can undo um, your radiator bolts here and here and slip the radiator back only no good no bueno in my case because that condensers in the way so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do I think what I can do is I believe that I'm not sure if it will fit in through here you know it might I think it will if I take the uh, marker light out uh, worst case scenario best case scenario it's gonna be the marker light worst case scenario um, I have to undo the headlight um, actually worst 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 case scenario I'm gonna have to undo the entire grill and move it forward to get this in so I will let you know how we do all right my friends so you see from the light that it's dusk um, no, I have not been working on this project for hours. I stopped to uh, hang out with my kids, watch a little bit of a football game, and so on and so forth. So, what I found was you can take out the marker lights, and it will fit on the driver's side, but it will only fit in uh, backwards. It goes in, let's see, like this. Let me spin this around, but then it's in the grill like this and there's absolutely no way to get it spun around and it has to mount like this 
So I try this side over here and the air conditioning is completely killing me on this deal. There's a hose that runs up and down the condenser here that's not on this other side and it won't fit at all. So I finally removed the headlight, the whole thing, and it will go in this way. Um, oh, I forgot to mention before, I got this nifty little, you know, dust and weather cover from uh, Tuffy. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like $9. But let me tell you what, Tuffy, sure would be nice if uh, you installed that for people because this nut here, you can see the brass one inside. Sorry for the low light. Um, the brass nut in here, let me set this down right down there sorry this is terrible camera work anyway that brass nut down in there is seven eighths of an inch okay now you remove this you take the little cam off but try and get you cannot fit a socket in there you cannot fit an open-ended wrench in there you can't fit an adjustable in there you can't get it with needle nose i ended up getting it with vice grips that's why it's all scone up. You gotta take the whole thing apart just to put this little dust cap on. I think for what you pay for your products, for these Tuffy products, they could install that for you if you order it. Anyway, so I did this once. I did a trial run here. Um, this is the hardest part of the project completely is just getting this thing in here. And let's see if I can do this with one hand. I may have to, I may have to give a pause. Um, like I said, I did it, I did it once before. It will go, trust me it will. There we go. Okay. And there, and now, there. And now, and now we're in, maybe. Uh, you know what, I said that, but um, that little stupid little latch thing is being a real pestilence. You know, honestly, it was such a pain to put on there and now it's just in the way so stand by all right my friends so i'm out of time i'm out of patience i'm out of light um it is in there like i said that stupid little dust cover is really in the way but when you know you bring it up to the I apologize for this light sorry you bring it up here to the grill where it's got the most space and you can get it where it needs to be uh so i'll cover that tomorrow i'm gonna leave this all torn apart with the headlights out because i did get um, these protective covers for the marker lights. Um, it actually came with two pieces for the tail lights, which I didn't anticipate that it was coming with those, but that's cool. Um, comes with nice screw, nice black screws, which is nice because um, actually the screws are completely rusted. I'll probably keep the nice long stainless ones that I have here in the uh, Rhino lined uh, ring. Anyway, so I have these to put on tomorrow, and I'll finish up the uh, Tuffy installation tomorrow, and I will definitely do a video on that. So, cool. All right, man. All right, my friends. So here we are, day two, and dusk again when I finally had time to work on this thing. Um, so you see where we left off. You got the Tuffy lock is inside where it needs to be. So all we're going to do is remove this the factory hood latch the three torx bits looks like torx 30 is going to take those off i oiled them up earlier because they were kind of rusty and nasty and what they they did say i forgot to mention they did say you should put tape over the hood lock to when you're sliding it in to protect it i mean it's a jeep it's going to go off-roading and it's going to get messed up and scratched and bent and dinged and everything else so I don't really care about that but it was quite a process getting it in there so the thing to remember is if you are doing this and you have air conditioning take the headlight out remove the headlight remove the driver's side headlight and it will slip right in that air conditioning condenser is a real bugger and that stupid dust latch on top of the can't complain about that thing enough is it gives it just that little bit more width that makes it a giant pain in the butt anyway so let's give a pause and i'll finish unbolting the factory hood latch 
All right, so I slipped the hood latch out, you know, really just for illustration purposes. You don't have to do this. They actually tell you, they don't tell you not to, but they say you just have to slip it down and out of the way. But I wanted to show you that. See, it has those captured nuts there. Pretty rusty and crusty. Pretty funny that this side is all rusty where it takes the weather um, from being on the front of this vehicle and the back side is still all nice and, and black powder coated and in pretty good shape. So no way I'm going to be able to film this. Um, I'm going to need both my hands. I thought I had a cameraman, but he bailed on me. Um, so pretty simple. Um, you put the toughy lot goes in place. They say to position that um, as far to the right. And when they're talking to the right, they mean to your right as you're standing facing the car. And they say position the hood latch to the left. And they mean as you're standing here to the left. And the reason I know that is because where mine was aligned, there's some witness marks here in the paint and it was lined completely to the passenger side, which would you normally would say the right. Confusing instructions uh, to say the least. And there are the Torx 30 uh, nuts, bolts, sorry, bolts there. And as if, you know, I line these up so that they'll go back in the same holes. Do you guys do crazy stuff like that too? Uh, let me know in the comments. All right, hang on, let's see if we can get this thing bolted together. All right, so um, definitely, three-handed job there um, this is just finger tight you know they, they tell you to put the bolts in finger tight so again the hood latch aligned all the way to your left as you're standing in front of it the lock hood lo is aligned all the way to the right as you're standing in front of it they want you to check to make sure it still works that you can still unlock the hood and you can and I'll test it with the lock afterwards after I uh, after I tighten up the, uh, the Torx bolts there just give me a quick second all right, so we verified that uh, the latch still works. You can try the lock now. Three-handed job. Oh, it's got a little. It's. I might have to adjust it a little bit. It. It. No, nah, there it goes. So just moving that little piece of metal in its way, but will not open. I mean, honestly, the amount of times I'm ever going to use this if the Jeep was, you know, parked somewhere shady or whatever. And I think you actually want it to be tight like that. Tight right up against that, right up against that latch. If it wasn't tight like that, um, you'd still be able, to, you'd have, you'd be able to have play in here. Um, oh, by the way, so you know that I took the headlight out to install this. These rugged ridge... Um, headlight protectors and marker light protectors honestly i'm going to give these a review on quadratech probably not a good review these things are made in taiwan cheap 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 junk this is it's cosmetic at best i mean is it going to i mean look at this seriously look at that this is going to protect your headlight from nothing again i guess it's for looks I don't even know how I think that looks. I mean, I expected, you know, something something better, you know, from a company named Rugged Ridge. And even for what I paid for paid for these products, um, I'm not going to put the tail lights on. Sorry about the low light. Um, but this this is a protector. This will protect your tail lights. This thing is rugged. You know, that's a boss beefy piece of. You know hardware right there not to cut this video I'm running out of time here running out of light I apologize for the low light my friends as always I appreciate you watching please consider subscribing I hope this video is of use to somebody I did have a little bit of pucker factor when I went to slide the uh, the lock up into place that it wasn't gonna fit past that god dang air conditioning condenser but it did and it works fine it works fantastically as it's designed to do I definitely would recommend the uh, the toughy product that's uh, built like a tank. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about the video. And take care, my friends. All right. Give you the wide shot. Take care, my friends.